I want to talk about you losing a very important person in your life. You know, this reminds me of a conversation I was having with my brother uh, some moments ago. And the things we're talking about, I was even mentioning that sometimes, you know, now I see why the poor remain poor. In fact, I thought about this and then we try to relate, you know, to point out and to be like, sometimes, you know, when you see people who don't have so much struggling, it's hard. You feel like you could help them, isn't it? But then that will make you realize why God, also you can judge yourself. Perhaps that is why God is not giving you that thing which you want. But commonly, we would see or I would see that it is common that those people who do, do not have, the thing is, it's not a matter of they are not having because nobody is giving to them or else they were going to have, but they don't know how to take and maintain or to take and keep. That is why it is common that those people, you give them a shelter, they stab you in the back. What is in their mindset? Commonly, when they see you being able to give, most of them, they create a chance where they be like, let me see how much I can rob this person before they run off. They think you're going to run off eventually. So better they take as much advantage than to work together with you. You know what I'm saying? And then forgetting that they don't know how to fish. You've been giving them fish, but if you leave, they still going to eat the fish and they will remain with nothing because they don't know how to fish. That is where they go wrong. That is why you see them suffering all over again. I even know of someone like that. They was lucky that they had found somebody who was taking good care of them. But eventually, that person left. And noticing the things, it is likely that the person started to take advantage whatsoever. I'm talking about also things that I noticed personally, okay? So the bottom line is this. I could see that um, this is where it, they get it wrong. They lose the most important person. Were you to be nice towards that person? Were you to, you to appreciate them? Someday all they need is love. They don't care about what they possess. They can give it to you. It's like that. All they need from you is loyalty. That's it. That's what gives them joy. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about. There are different ways we lose good people. There are different ways you might lose people in your life. I can speak of two ways right now. But of course, the, the letter that I'm going to uh, uh, mention is the main message of this message. But then the first one, of course, you might have guessed when you click the title, you can lose somebody maybe by uh, death, for example, if you don't pray over. So please note, pray for them. Okay. If God is to wake you up, even if they are still in good health, haven't you heard of moments where somebody leaves, they were well, you hear that they, along the way they got an accident. It comes, it comes suddenly. But the Lord God who sees everything, he will warn you. So please don't ignore such a prayer. Secondly, please keep people in your life. There are some people who are just destiny helpers in your life. Don't let them go. The devil gets them out of your way or out of your life so that you can remain alone. There are some things that you need somebody to hook you up. You know what I'm saying? Somebody to... To, to, to connect you in order to go further in life. So you need some people in your life. And I pray, may the Lord send people who are needed in your life to move you, to help you. Destiny help us, I decree and I declare over you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.